What is up guys? This is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we get to take a sneak peek at a new prototype from SD09 watches. So you may have seen some of my previous videos uh, where I highlighted some of the watches that I've received from successful Kickstarter crowdfunding campaigns. Today's gonna be a little bit different. Today we get to take a sneak peek at a watch that's currently in a crowdfunding campaign from SD09 Watches. Now, I uh, found this watch initially on Kickstarter as I constantly go back and forth between Kickstarter and Indiegogo to uh, see what watches are out there and what ones I want to take a look at. Um, I found this watch, I thought it was pretty interesting, so I decided to be a backer. Well, in becoming a backer of this watch, I actually ended up um, having a conversation with a company and they offered to send me a prototype of the watch that they're actually going to be building with this Kickstarter campaign for me to take a look at with you guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before we jump into this though, guys, as always, if you haven't already, subscribe button down there in the right-hand corner of the screen. Go ahead and smash that guy so you can follow us on into the future. But let's get started and tear into this thing. All right, guys, so as we tear into this box, like I mentioned, got talking with the team over at SD09 Watches uh, when I backed their project and uh, told them a little bit about myself and they were gracious enough to send me a prototype. Incidentally, this is not the box that'll come in. This is just a prototype. Uh, they're kind enough to send me a prototype of their UFO spacecraft to take a look at with you guys. And there it is in its full glory. Now, I can tell you, I've seen quite a few prototypes in my day, and uh, it's usually where they put together their you know, final fittings of all the parts, and uh, they tend to be a little bit rough around the edges, but this guy seems pretty on point. I can tell you if I received this watch um, after successful completion of their campaign, I would be pretty happy. Um, really, really nice looking watch. 316L stainless seal on this case. Um, one thing you can see is it does have a fixed crown cover right there. Uh, and then, you know, the black, the black accent on the other side of the case to uh, kind of offset the shaping of it. Now the case diameter on this watch, or the dial diameter on this watch is 42 millimeters. And then it has a case thickness of 14.3 millimeter. So if we zoom in a little bit more on the dial of this watch, you'll notice at that three o'clock position, you have a date indicator. Then at that 4.30 position, you see the spinning disc. That is a small seconds indicator on this watch. And um, that spinning disc actually has loom on it. So you'll be able to see that uh, in low light situations. The other thing you'll notice is it does appear to have a sandwich dial on it for the 9 and 12 o'clock indices. Uh, those are loom filled as well, along as well as the applied indices around all of the hour markers are. You can see at that 12 o'clock position, they have the SD09 logo and then the brand name right there at the 9 o'clock position of this watch. If we flip this watch over, you can see an open display case back, and this watch is actually powered by a Miyota 8218 automatic movement is what is powering this guy. You can see all of it in all of its glory right there in this, in this shot. You can also see right there, it's got written on the case back, Space Station SD09, Super Loom Automatic, Hand Wind Japanese Movement. I don't know why this is a this is a great shot to me of an automatic open display case back. I love being able to see the the parts of a watch. You can see there's not a whole lot um, as far as decoration on this movement, um, but it is 21 joules and does have 40 hour power reserve 
for this Miyota 8218 movement. One other thing to point out about that Miyota 8218 that is being used in this UFO spacecraft, the Miyota movement that's used has an accuracy or precision of negative 20 to positive 40 seconds per day. This watch does have a water resistance rating of 10 ATM or 330 feet. And uh, one other thing to point out, this, this leather strap, this leather weave to this strap, when I first saw it in the pictures, I didn't think I was gonna be a huge fan of it. Um, I figured that I might end up actually changing the strap out, but actually seeing it in person um, is pretty nice. The other thing you'll notice is right there, you can see those, those screws in the case and actually the screws on the end of each of the uh, strap sides. At first thought, again, I thought I, we were gonna have a situation where they were proprietary straps, but nope, if we flip it over, we have the quick release pins on those straps, so those straps can be swapped out at any given time. And then also we have the SD09 right there on the genuine leather strap. And then if we look at the clasp itself, it's got the SD09 watches logo right in the clasp. If we wanna jump over to the actual Kickstarter campaign, you can see right here, right up at the top of the screen, I am a backer. $279 is what I got into this campaign at. Uh, to be able to back this UFO spacecraft. Now, I will post a link to this Kickstarter campaign in the description section below, <clears throat> but you can also find it uh, by just searching SD09 watches on Kickstarter. You can see right here, they have a funding goal of $35,674. They've already raised $25,000 with 83 backers and they have 23 days to go at the time that I recorded this. So if you go through this, I won't, I won't bore you by reading this whole page, but if you go through this, they talk about their history a little bit and about how they came up with the design of this UFO spacecraft and about how their initial campaign that they started for this um, did quite meet the mark as far as raising all the funds that they initially needed. Um, but uh, they're kicking it off again with these 2018 models. And you can see again, you can see my, my back, me backing the project here. And there's actually one left uh, at this rate if you're looking to get in on it. But as we scroll down here, you see a large number of different color combinations. And oddly enough, guys, I will probably surprise you with this when this campaign comes into fruition, I am not going to select the red and black uh, dial as you would see on here. I'm actually going to go with the blue um, on this watch. I don't have enough blue watches and uh, blue is another huge favorite of mine in addition to black and red. But you can see they have all sorts of different color combinations between bezel, between case color, between dial color, and hand and second hand colors. Um, you know, pretty much any color combination uh, you, can, you can find. You can see right here, this, this guy right here is the prototype that uh, we are taking a look at today. So scroll down through a little bit more. And again, guys, you can check out the link below. They talk a little bit about how they came up with the idea of the UFO spacecraft. Um, they talk about their design concept with that spinning disc and, uh, you know, how they came up with that. They talk about a little bit about the case construction. And I wanted to show you a couple other things. I'll show you some loom shots at the end of this. I can guarantee my pictures probably won't be as good as that one, but uh, that's definitely a sharp picture. You can see that Miyota. 8218 movement there. This does even come with a couple color combinations on the leather straps. Incidentally, one thing I did forget to mention, leather straps are 22 millimeters wide. So that is a decent size 
Um, but you can see, this is what I also wanted to show you, is just some of the specifications on it. These will be, I didn't even notice this until just now, wow. These will be identified as limited edition with the unique serial number or the unique number of the watch engraved up to 200 pieces. And then here are all the different color combinations in a little bit easier to see format. All right, guys, so that was the UFO spacecraft from SD09 watches. I can tell you now after holding this guy in my hand and being able to wear it a little bit, um, my comfort level for backing this project has definitely ramped up significantly uh, now that I've seen an actual prototype in my hands and felt the build quality, checked out that weaved pattern on that leather strap uh, against that stainless steel case. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this project being a successful campaign so that uh, I can get my permanent watch in the mail from SD09 watches. Unfortunately, this guy has to get sent back out because I can't keep the prototype. I know, I know, I'd love to keep the prototype, but I am happy to wait around for this guy to have a successful Kickstarter campaign. Guys, if you have any questions, definitely post them up in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer what I can. If you want to learn more about SD09 watches and this UFO spacecraft Kickstarter campaign, down in the description section below will be a link to their campaign so that you can read more about it, um, some information to be able to contact them if you have questions of your own. As always, guys, if you want to reach out to me, you can do so at mywatchaddiction.com. And as always, if you want to see what's on my wrist on a daily basis, follow us on Instagram at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. Thank you guys and have a great week.